Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm Lucas, and welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is a show where we're gonna to try to teach you how to customize, personalize, trick out that PC, but above all, make it cool. Now love it or hate it, XP is gonna be around for a few years more. And what we've done is put a series together we like to call the XP IMP series. Uh, it's a little more clever than it sounds, so Maddie, why don't you flash that up for me? All right, so what we're gonna to try to do with this series is give XP that new car smell without shelling out that new car dough. Introducing window blinds. Let's get started, guys. Now the cool thing about the window blind software is the, uh, is the fact that it allows you to change that OS with little to no effort, which bodes well for me because I'm a pretty lazy guy. Now the first thing I noticed about this software was the user interface. Very intuitive and very cool. I'd say probably within the first five minutes I had my OS changed and looking a little more pimped because if you look at my XP now, it's, it's sad. If my laptop was an emoticon, it would be a frowny face. So let's change that. Now the first thing we're going to do is the cursors, because hey, cursors are pretty lame. But today we're going to go with the ninja cursor, because ninjas are cool. So we're going to apply it, and just like that, my cursor becomes a weapon. So that's kind of cool, but eh, not cool enough. So let's keep it going. Now this is where window blinds kind of shines. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a skin. I'm going to go with dragons, because, well, ninjas and dragons, I mean, they just kind of go together, right? Is that just me? No? No? All right. So we pick the dragon, and we're going to apply that change. So it's going to take some system resources, and the reason why it's taking a little bit longer on mine is because the guts of my laptop here have not quite been pimped. But that's another episode. Patience, patience. All right, guys. Boom. There we go, guys. Change skin. OS looks a little different. Now, one of the other things you can do as well, and one of the coolest things I noticed about this software was the fact that you can actually use your locally stored files in concert with the files that actually come with the window blind software. So we're going to show you why I think that's so cool right now. So within window blinds, we're going to go to wallpapers. Check out this really cool Spider-Man pic that I downloaded. Make sure we select it, apply it. That's the one. All right, so I know what you're thinking. You're saying, hey, brown dragon with Spider-Man. Oh, that looks lame. OK, all right, gotcha, gotcha. So we're going to switch that up. Now, one of the things you can do is customizations within customizations. So we're going to go back to look and feel. We're going to go to the color section. And then what I'm going to do is actually remove all the colors from the skin. It's going to give it that nice black dragon scale look, which uh, you'll see in a second complements the Spidey pick beautifully. One of the other cool things that I'm going to tell you about is uh, there's some of the skins have some animations on it. And one of the reasons I went with the dragon, the dragon skin was you go to your start menu, which is now a gem of some sort, click on it, and boom, your dragon spits fire. So cool. All right, so what we're going to do actually now is go to the window blinds, to the window blind site, show what they got to offer. Now that's at stardock.com, and you can see they have three different packages to offer. But you can try before you buy, which is very, very cool because it gives you an idea, get your feet wet, show you what you can do with it, and uh, what you can't. So now they have the enhanced, the bundle, and then the object desktop. And basically the only difference is you just have more and more options as you go up. Ultimately with the object desktop, you can change pretty much everything with the OS from your boot screen to your logon. Now, but if you get bored with what Window Blinds has to offer you, there's actually an alternative you can go to called Win Customize. Now what this is are user generated skins. So chances are you're probably gonna find a little bit more variety if you're into music, sports, movies, things of that nature. But these are user generated skins. So I have to say download or beware. There's some real jerks out there that wanna put Trojans in malware. You know who you are. Oh, I hate you so much. All right, so there you have it, guys. Window blinds and wind customize. Two quick and easy ways to get you on the road to pimping that PC, or at least pimping that XP. All right, guys, that's today's show. Make sure you check out butterscotch.com for today's show notes. And uh, join us next time, because we're going to continue our series on the XP IMP. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya.